Welcome to the Wandering Scotsman. With your host, Brian Ruxton. Today's video will be that of my latest painting of a beautiful, gorgeous butterfly. From beginning to end, from sketch to full completion of acrylic painting on campus. I hope that you will enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed painting it. Let's get started, shall we? Are you ready to watch the video of this painting? This is a butterfly that I sketched out oh, probably about a week ago. And uh, I've got three paintings on the go right now. Over there in the corner, you can see I've got three paintings on the go. But I don't really feel like working in them right now. I just want to start something completely new, fresh start. What better than a butterfly? The butterfly has come out of a cocoon. It's started off as a caterpillar and in hibernation. It comes out a beautiful butterfly. And with the life challenges I've gone through lately, I feel like I've been that um, ugly caterpillar and then went into cocoon stage, just uh, like withdrawn into himself and uh, just in a, a dark place and now coming out to new life and Welcome back to the Wandering Scotsman. So this evening we're going to start a new painting as I said earlier in my reintroduction the wee butterfly. Um, some of you may, some of you may not know. It's uh, been a bit of a, a challenging time in life lately, and uh, you know, this butterfly represents hope for a brighter future. Sound good? So let's get started with this tonight. So I'm going to start off uh, doing the background, like I do with all my paintings. I always start off with the background. So, of course, uh, there's been a butterfly, it's on a plant. It's got a dark gun, it's going to be green leaves with a nice wee uh, flower that it's resting on, a wee uh, kind of reddish pinkish flower. And uh, let's see what happens. Alright, let's mix our colours. Where did I put my palette? Oh, here's my palette right here. Alright, let's get started. Okay. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. Okay. Alright, we'll start to. Uh, there's some darks over here, and we'll get lighter and brighter as we go this side here. That way we've got a nice contrast uh, behind the, the flower here. Well, let's just uh, start here. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, okay, let's see. Good, eh? Alright. Oh, let's go to 
got some really bright green here. Lots of yellow. That's it here. But the thing is, I'm not really a, a true artist. I don't typically squat about the brushes and about the paints. I just like playing around with it. I like to have fun with it, just mix it and see what happens. Try a different brush stroke, see what happens. Turns out great, it doesn't. Oh well, no big deal, mate, eh? no big deal. I'm about having fun. Let's see what that is, eh? Having fun. Well, that does look quite nice. What do you care about that, eh? Oh, that's not bad at all. <laughs> Alrighty, welcome back. So now that the, uh, the background is dried up properly, I want to get started on just the uh, background base colour of the butterfly, which is going to be yellow. The yellow butterfly with some nice colourful highlights. So I'm going to do the yellow first. Alrighty, mix a wee bit of yellow and white together. Okay. Alright, let's have a look and see what we can come up with here. As we do it, by mixing the two colours, it's going to to give a wee bit of nice uh, kind of texture of blend the colours and uh, looking more three dimensional as opposed to just having a flat colour one single colour that looks really too flat oh my neck is still sore so not, not looking for perfection right now I'm going to overlap where the eye is going to be so that when I do the eye the eye will be on top of that okay in here now. I'm going to use a completely different brush today. You can see that. So it's got a lovely angled edge. So it's perfect for getting in here and just shaping it. Okay, just shaping the black. Plus it's great for flicking and getting nice lines. You know, so it's great all around uh, multi-purpose brush for, for this kind of painting. Alright, so let's get started here. I've got a little black on the canvas. I'll start off with wetting my brush, just pull the water off it, and just get a little bit of black here, mix it in real good, then I'm going to come in here.
Alrighty then, so that's all for this morning. Uh, at least I got a good start on the blacks. So, so far we've got the greens done. The yellows, a wee bit orange. And some, uh, some black background shadows and whatnot. As we start to work on it and start to add the texture. And that's where I bring in more of the highlights and the contours and everything else. I'm probably going to have to fix up here, redo the leaves, because when I'm looking up close, the antennas, I sketched them too thick. They look daft. So I'm going to probably just go over the leaves, redo it, so I can make the antennas a wee bit thinner. I want it to look like a cartoon. A wee bit too thick, it'll definitely look cartoonish, it'll look terrible, it won't look like, like at all. And of course, with all my paintings, my goal is to try and make them look as realistic and lifelike as possible, as if it's about ready to flutter off the page here. I was going to say fly off, but you yeah, know, flutter, blah, 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 like that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's get in there. Probably, I don't know, maybe another six hours on that, and then we'll be the call done. Yeah. <laughs> a.m. I think it's time to call it a night and see if I can try and sleep. 
I've been painting away because I've a lot of pain tonight. So I have to take my mind off of things. All our highlighting done. That's the detail. Shadows in. I go three dimensional. Doing the flower, the wings. Probably most things are done. A wee bit more detail on the wings to be done. And I'll do some more highlights on the uh, leaves as well. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Alrighty then, welcome back. So right now, we're going to add some more red and orange highlights to the wings. Right. Nice and feathery. Dimensional, you can pop actually up here because there's not much going on up there. So I'm trying to tap you back more color. Good day. Try to capture the fine here, so you can see all that fine detail. Spent countless hours, had no idea how many hours it was, but let's just say it was a heck of a lot of hours. Try to make this as realistic as possible. Eye catching and appealing. Bam Dabby Dozy! Finally completed my butterfly painting. So glad and happy that this is done. A nice, beautiful texture built up in the wings here nice and three-dimensional looking lots of lovely detail a wee bit pops out from the canvas it looks lifelike So as most people know, a butterfly has four wings. So in order to more clearly show that, I have added the little gray to highlight the separation between the wings. So this is wing number one here. So if you look up close, you have to get really close to see it. See how it's just slight gray coming up here. Comes up here. Yeah, that's wing number one. Wing number two is this one up here. So I'm gonna look real closely here. It comes down onto here. Wing number three is in the back here. And of course, wing number four will be way behind that at the back. So you wouldn't see wing number four from here because it's the, the other side of this. So four wings, 